Hello and welcome to this Excel spreadsheet developed by the NavalArc.com. This Excel sheet calculates the mooring forces on a ship when a cargo is being loaded out onto its stern from the quay side, and the mooring configuration is four point mooring as we can see in this diagram. It calculates all the environmental forces on the vessel when it is moored. The forces are the wind forces, the current forces, and the wave forces, and from these environmental forces, it finally calculates the line tensions on the mooring lines, which is the final result of this Excel sheet. Let's see how it works. First, we go to the inputs. The first kind of inputs required are the inputs of the vessel. The vessel's principal dimensions, and the bow type and the shape type of the vessel have to be input. We have got different tables for entering the bow shape and the vessel shape type. Next is the input on the cargo and environment which asks the user for the dimensions of the cargo, the cargo shape coefficient, the wind speed, the current speed and the significant wave height. The table for shape factor for wind calculations is also given. Next is the input of mooring lines which will require the distance of the mooring point on the key side with respect to the mooring point on the vessel. Once these inputs are given by the user, the spreadsheet goes on to calculate the environmental forces. It first calculates the current loads from the longitudinal underwater area of the vessel, and it gives out the current load and the location of the current force acting on the vessel. Similarly it calculates the cargo windage area and the hull windage area, and factors them for the height coefficient and the shape coefficient for the cargo and the hull, calculates the final wind load for the hull and for the cargo and adds them up to give the final total wind load and the location at which this final total wind load is acting. The third one is the wave drift force which is calculated as per DNVRPH 103 using the formula shown here. It calculates the final total wave drift force from the significant wave height and the length of the vessel. Once these forces are calculated then the total forces are tabulated and the final total force including the current, wind and wave is calculated. The location of this total force with respect to the stern of the vessel is also calculated. Once we have the final total force and the location where it is acting, we can calculate the line tensions on the mooring lines, which is done by this final worksheet. This worksheet calculates the angles of the lines, and from equations balancing the forces and the moments, it finally calculates the line tensions for the port side and the starboard side lines, and it displays the final values in this worksheet. That was about the mooring forces calculator for stern on key arrangement, and four point mooring. For any feedbacks and suggestions please do write back to us. Thank you.